Today I'm going to just go over a couple tests that I do in my office that I evaluate the neuropathy. On my last video I kind of talked about small fiber neuropathy and large fiber neuropathy. I'm going to show you how I test it um, and then your neurologist will do the small, you know, the biopsy and or the EMG and CV. So this is how I do it in my office. So the first thing I do is I want to check kind of the cool nerve fibers. So I basically just, you can use a spoon and I just start with the face, I touch the face and I go, that sensation should feel similar to that, does it? Mm -hmm. Okay, and then, I, and then I go down to the hand and the face and they should feel fairly similar. Mm -hmm. And then I kind of flip it over and then I touch the feet and then I'll go to the hand and they, that should be relatively similar. So this way I'm checking out the, the cool fibers. So if all of a sudden I touch the foot, so I'll say something like, let's give this a number 10 the cool sensation, and what would this be right here? What would that be? Well, for me, the 10. 10, okay, so that's perfect. So some people are a 3, which means they're not getting as much of the small nerve fibers that test, uh, test temperature. The next thing I do is vibration. So I said in uh, my lecture that vibration um, is a large nerve fiber, and so it's basically, I, it, I use this uh, tuning fork, and I just do this, put it on the toe. I usually start up top. I'll start it like at the clavicle, and then I kind of move down to, let's say, the wrist. And then I'll do the knee, just looking to see if they feel it relatively the same. And then I'll go to the big toe. So after I do that, I get a little more specific. I'll test the thumb, so put your thumb up. So give that, a, that's a number 10, mm -hmm. that vibration. And what would you say this is? The same. Same. So I have some people where they don't feel any vibration. That means that they've probably uh, starting to get a little large fiber or probably fairly advanced. Uh, by the numbers, it's kind of a subjective test, but the patient gives me their numbers. So when I do a reval, I can determine if these things are coming back a little bit through different therapies. Uh, then we do, we test for pain. So this is a little pinwheel, or your doctor might use a little pin. So there's a little medi pin. So you've, you know, I've read things, comments on the board where, you know, this pin has made the neurologist a lot of money. And basically, you know, we just do a little poke and kind of see when you can start to feel that pin to see if this big toe is starting to lose sensation or in neuropathy sometimes it becomes hypersensitive. So in the beginning with neuropathy, the brain actually starts putting more sensation to the foot. And so it becomes hypersensitive and then finally says, okay, we're done. It becomes more numb. So some of you right now, you're very hypersensitive to touch and things. It's the brain trying to say, hey, let's fix this, but it just doesn't know how or can't. So what we'll do is we'll just run pinwheel through different dermatomes, nerve parts of the body, and then I'll, again, I'll go over the hand. I just go, we're going to give that a number 10, and what would this be? It's the same. It's the same. So if she felt it more, then I do know she has a neuropathy issue, or she feels it less, I know she has a neuropathy issue. Um... So pain and temperature are um, one pathway that we measure, and then proprioception with the vibration is more the large nerve fiber, and pain and temperature is more the small nerve fiber. The next thing we do is we do light touch, and what I tell my patients is there's a little thread at the end of this that's called a monofilament, and if they can't feel this, they've lost the myelin sheath, and the myelin does not regenerate, so I basically tell them there's nothing that we can do to help you, basically. So there's about six points that I hit on the foot. And what I'll tell the patient is, close your eyes. I'm going to be touching you with this very thin, light touch thread. And you tell me if you feel it and where you feel it. So I just hit the spots. So I pick about six spots. I do it on the same every, every patient. And, if, and then I measure. Do they feel two out of six, four out of six, six out of six? Most people pass this test. But I've had a few that don't, and there's just not a lot you can do. Those are the ones that have had like severe injuries, either the leg, they've cut the nerve in surgery, they have drop foot, and they just don't quite have the sensation down there like they used to. Um, then what I do in my office is to measure temperature and arterial flow, I have just something that we measure, it's an infrared th thermometer, and I'll just basically uh, put it on their foot, and I'll get a reading, and then I just compare it to the other side to make sure they're getting good arterial flow, venous flow on both sides, and temperature the same. And then I always palpate to measure temperature, check the pulse, 
Make sure there's a good strong pulse in the areas where you get a pulse in the foot. Um, and then the last thing is I want to check muscle strength. So if they're losing muscle strength, that could be a spinal issue as well as it could be a um, uh, more of a myelin issue also where the nerve is just degenerating and there's not, not a lot you can do if it's really, really bad. So like a patient that has drop foot, that's, that's this test here. It's the L4 nerve root. So what I tell the patient is I'm just going to push you down. You're going to resist. And so that's really strong. And then this one. So if there is no resistance whatsoever, if it just fell down, and the patient knows when they have drop foot because when they're walking, it's basically slapping the ground. But there's no resistance that's probably been compressed or severed or something has happened, some trauma. And then I'll check the big toe. So this is the L5 nerve root. And with the big toe up, I'll push it down. So push against my finger. Yep, the other way, <laughs> just like that. I know. Yep, so just like that. So that's really strong. And then this side, and that's really strong. So then just stand up real quick. We're just going to do a couple more tests. So I check balance. So first I want to check motor strength again. So I'll just have the patient get up on their toes. I always get ready to hold on to them in case they fall. Then up on your heels. And if they did have a lot of nerve compression, again, they're not going to be able to do this for the L4, L5, S1 nerve roots. Okay? And then um, for balance, I basically keep it real simple. Um, and I, So I'll just have Sarah face the camera here. So I have them... First, I just see what their overall balance is like. So if they're standing like this, a broad base, I know their balance isn't going to be good, so I'm ready to hold on to them. And I see if they can even stand with their eyes open, feet close together. If they're swaying all over the place, then I start to slowly work on techniques to build that back up. If they're good with their eyes open, then we go eyes closed. So let's see, feet together, eyes closed. Yeah. So Sarah has really good balance. And if the patient's more advanced, we'll start doing more advanced things like, you know, we call this tandem gait. Can you stand with your one foot in front of the other? And if they can do that easily, then we'll go eyes closed. So can you do that? Yep, yeah. let's go eyes closed. Good. And then the other side. And then, no. <laughs> and then eyes closed. And so she's really good there. Okay, that's good. So basically that's how we do our neuropathy exam in our office. And, um, and then I'll, I actually check one more thing I'll just show you real quick. So we have cool fibers, kind of confusing, and then we have cold fibers. So I'll use something that I keep in the freezer. You can use an ice cube and just put it on your feet or your hand and then your feet to see if you feel a, di a difference. In perfect health, it should be a 10. So if you uh, just give it a number 10, and this should be an 8. So a little bit less through all those tests that I did. It should be a 10 and an 8, really. That, that's in perfect health. Um, and then sometimes for the hot nerve fibers, like a lot of you complain of burning pain, it's really hard to test for that. So what I use, I, I kind of I use a hair dryer, and I put it close to them to build up heat to see if they can feel the same on one leg as compared to the next. And that's pretty much our neuropathy exam, and then we score that, determine how severe that exam is, and then recommend various therapies to try to support that neuropathy. All right, thanks.